Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are solving a program uh, challenge in the book starting out with Java and we are in chapter 6. The problem we are currently solving today is called it's called geometry calculator and it is uh, number 11 uh, programming challenge in the chapter 6. So all we have to do is to create uh, three static methods. Um, all of them are get area for the circle, rectangle, and the triangle. And they gave us uh, the formulas for all the uh, for all the areas for these methods. And we have to test it. Um, we have to test the class uh, to show um, to show our work. So let's uh, let's start with um, let's start with solving the, the problem. So I already created um, the class geometry calculator, and this is the description I copied from the the book. And um, first first thing would be to create a, a static method, and uh, it will return double. They didn't say. Um, the return type um, so I'm just uh, using double and I uh, will say get area of circle this method should accept a radius we'll say radius and um, we have to return on this method and um, the area is the area of a circle is pi times radius square. So, uh, in order to avoid you know a long number, a long uh, decimal point, I'm just uh, I'm just rounding up. And the, the way to do that in Java is to use math that uh, round. And um, you will say is math the formula is math that pi times radius say math that pow math that pow uh, would give us uh, any number um, raised to to any power it will give us uh, the square that we need um, to square the radius we will square the radius to 2 because the formula is the area is equal to uh, pi times radius square so that's why I use the math dot pow radius raised to the second power you can you can raise it to the third or fourth or whatever power that you want but in this case we just need 2 we just need a square then you have to create the second method which is static double get area area of rectangle and it will, it will take length and width and this is easy we'll say math that round length uh, length time is uh, worth to get the area of a rectangle and lastly to get uh, to get the area of a triangle we'll say uh, public static um, double get area of triangle um, the formula is they gave us the formula is it is base times height times 0 0.5 so the the method should accept uh, the base and it should accept the height and um, we would uh, we would calculate this uh, math that round to round up and um, we we'll say base time is height time is 0 0.5 um, also they said we have to check 
if the user enters a number, a negative number, um, you have to check for that. So I will start for this uh, method. We'll say if base is less than zero or height is less than zero, we will say error. Negative numbers are not valid, and uh, we would we would use this this message again here. You say if l length is is less than zero or width is less than zero, then we will say. The negative number is not allowed and for the circle method we will do we will say radius is less than zero uh, and negative numbers are not allowed after we complete all the static methods they said we have to test it uh, for this class so I will test it inside the class using a, a main method and um, uh, they said we have to show a, a menu um, that uh, gives the user an option to to select um, to select either to calculate the area of a circle rectangle or a triangle or um, number four to quit so one two four are options so we'll say Um, number one, uh, calculate the area of the area of, so we we'll just uh, copy it. I can, I know I can, I can uh, print it in just one line, but I, I want to print it in multiple lines and lastly we will just say number four to quit the first area is circle the second is rectangle and the last one is triangle after that they said um, we have to say enter, enter your choice. Enter your choice. One, one two, four. Then um, we have to ask the user to enter. Um, his choice and the way we do that is to use the scanner class scanner system dot in and choice um, sc next int we have to also check if the user enters a number that's negative or higher than four and the way we do that is to use a while loop to we'll say if the choice is less than zero or choice is greater than four um, if that is the case we have to ask it again for that we have to say error negative numbers are not allowed and uh, give a space and we will just uh, ask the user again and uh, I don't need the scanner again and I don't have to initialize the choice again so whatever the users enters again in the while loop, it will be stored in choice. As long as the user enters a negative number or a number higher than four, this while loop would be executed. If the user enters a number between one and four, we have to handle it that. And the way I would like to do it is to use the switch statement. 
is which statement take his choice and it will say case one if the it will say break case two break case three break and and default okay and um, the first case if the user enters one we have to ask the radius of the circle to we'll say enter the radius of this circle task that int radius sc stint then we say the area is and get area of circle and it takes radius and um, the second case if the user enters number two we have to ask the length and the width of the rectangle into the length of the rectangle we will say int length and uh, we will say int the width of the rectangle int width and the area of rectangle is say get area of area of rectangle length and width and lastly if the user enters number three we have to ask the user enter the base of the triangle say int base next int also we have to ask the user um, enter the height of the tri triangle then height sc next int the area the area of the triangle triangle is get area of the base and height and uh, we don't we don't give default anything you can just uh, you can even remove the default if you want then after we do that we have to test the we have to run the program to test if we got it right as you can see they gave us the menu the area for circle rectangle and triangle and four to quit so we will check uh, the negative number if the error message comes up say negative two mm, okay it did comes up how about if we uh, enter a number higher than four so the error um, the error handling uh, work is for our program so let's uh, check number one number one is enter the circle the area of a circle into the radius of a, of a circle so let's say nine the area of a circle is 254 i think it's correct let's run it again and uh, this time we will write we will type two um, the length of rectangle is a 9 and the width is 9 it should give us a 1 yes it did they gave us let's uh, run it uh, again and let's type 3 and this is enter the base of the triangle 
let's say 9 and um, the height of triangle uh, this should give us uh, 40 or something um, 41 uh, 41.0 I think it's correct and lastly let's let's uh, type number 4 to quit I want to quit the program as you can see the program terminates so check it out and um, and let me know what you guys think about this program I will post it in my github account um, for the source code if you have any any programming challenges um, about Java or Python let me know type it um, in the description and uh, I will I will try to to solve it so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time